A woman was walking when she was stopped by a group of gangsters. They harassed her, and one of them grabbed her side. She slapped the man. In retaliation, the man punched her hard, causing her to fall to the ground. He then kicked her in the stomach before leaving her lying on the pavement. She was rushed to the hospital, and her husband, who was a police officer, arrived quickly. She was able to describe the attackers. It turned out she knew who these gangsters were. They, along with other police officers, went to the gangsters' hideout at a repair shop. The gangsters insulted them, and one of them tried to punch him, but he dodged the second blow. A brawl broke out between the two groups. There were punches, kicks, and even some choking with both sides pushing each other. They continued exchanging blows, with one of the gangsters having his head slammed against a car window. Another tried to hit someone but missed, and the fighting went on. Eventually, the police gained control of the situation. One gangster tried to escape, leading to another round of fighting, but the officers ultimately subdued them. One of the gangsters ran off but was soon cornered by a police officer. When the gangster tried to attack, the officer swiftly kicked him in the groin and then slammed his face against the car. The officer visited his wife in the hospital, only to learn that she had suffered a miscarriage due to the gangster's kick. Filled with rage, he went to the police station to seek revenge on the gangsters. He removed his gun and entered the prison cell, telling the gangsters that if they could beat him in a fist fight, they would be free to go. He immediately lunged at them, beating two of the prisoners. The two prisoners ganged up on him, but he managed to knock them down. In an instant, he moved to the next cell. He opened the door, and the prisoner inside charged at him. They exchanged punches, and the officer threw the prisoner onto a table. The prisoner tried to grab the officer's gun, but the officer swiftly tackled him to the ground. The officer then delivered a powerful punch to the prisoner's stomach, nearly knocking the wind out of him. He paused briefly, but his anger returned, and he mercilessly beat the prisoner, punching him repeatedly in the face, as if slaughtering an animal. The prisoner, now bloodied and unconscious, lay motionless on the ground.